Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? I'm the Snatchless here on YouTube. I hope y'all are having a wonderful, fantastic day. Welcome back and welcome if you're new here. So today's video is going to be another one of my tarot series. It is Tarot Tuesday. I finally have like gotten everything organized since I stopped classes and finals are over to be able to post content. Um, with this every Tuesday and Thursday and I'm going to try and post at least one other day of the week so three days a week for the summer so Tarot Tuesday um, my last video was the fool which I will link right here in the cards and now we are doing the magician I'll be doing these until I go the whole way through all of the tarot um, cards in the whole deck. I'll be doing Major Arcana and then Minor Arcana. So hold on one second because I forgot to grab my cards to show you guys the Magician. Alright, I'm back. I found the Magician in each of my decks. So I have three different tarot decks. I only had two the last time I did one of these videos. But since then I've um, acquired the Luna Soul Tarot and then I also have the Everyday Tarot and Cat Tarot. So here is the Everyday Tarot, the Magician. The Cat Tarot's Magician, and the Magician from the Luna Soul deck. This one is probably one of my favorites. I absolutely just love this deck and the illustrations on it. Um, I can do a full review of any of these decks if you guys want me to, or any of the Oracle decks that I have. Just let me know, and I will definitely do that. So, the Magician. The numerology, it's card one in the Major Arcana, as we spoke about with the Fool. That is card zero. Um... It represents the beginning, a new beginning, beginnings happening. We have um, the astrology is Mercury and the element is air. So basically the magician is a card, it's card one on the fool's journey. It's the very beginning, it's starting off. Um, this marks usually the beginning of a creative adventure. It doesn't really have to be a creative adventure all the time as we go through the different things. But if you're doing a general reading, usually it has to do some sort of creative entity that is like being manifested if you look at specifically um the cat one you see like all these little different things that are toys and stuff down here it kind of shows creativity and same with um i guess it's really only the everyday tarot one that isn't quite as detailed this one has flowers and books and all kinds of things that kind of symbolize creativity on the card so the upright meeting meeting meaning is that you have all the skills and abilities that you need to be successful um things are kind of aligning for you in divine timing but you really must be hardworking. you must have willpower you must be concentrating and focusing on what you want or it's not going to work um this card also signifies that you are on the energetic level that you need to be to manifest what you want into your life so if you've been trying to manifest something for a really long time and you've been feeling stuck or blocked or something and the magician card comes out in a reading um it really can just you know signify that your manifestations are ready it's you finally figured it out you finally got onto that higher energy level because whenever we manifest something if we're on the same energy level as what we want we are more likely to bring it into our lives so then the love meeting um i split this into if you're in a relationship and if you're single so if you're in a relationship there's some sort of deeper level or some sort of significant thing that is coming this could be you guys are buying your first house together. This could be you are getting engaged. This could be something as simple as you guys got a pet together. It could be something as little as, you know, you guys are finally taking that next step in to meeting each other's families, things like that. Um, but it just means that there's a deeper level of your relationship that's being developed and coming forward. And now for my singles, like myself, it means that love is coming into your life. You need to be open to um, the possibilities of meeting someone and someone coming into your life and just really be open and aware for anything that might come into your heart and being open to love if you've been closed off to it in the past. Um, now moving on to career, um, career, there's new opportunities that are presenting themselves, but you're really going to have to work for it is kind of what this means. You may have to have a little bit of bravery, be a little bit bolder with your ideas than you have been in the past to make them really show through and become present. If you're working in like a company and you know, you're having a chance to pitch an idea to a boss or something, maybe you have done this idea in the past, but you figured out how to make it better and how to really just kind of 
kind of show them all that you got and how great you are. Um, it's really about presenting yourself in a new way in this career opportunity that you're being given. And then for the spiritual meaning, this card can really signify the beginning of someone's spiritual journey. It could signify the start of being opening to something in your spiritual journey that you weren't open to before. Maybe you had never read tarot before. Maybe you're starting your journey with crystals. Maybe you are learning how to manifest. Maybe you're starting meditation. Anything of the spiritual sort that you maybe haven't done before or weren't comfortable with doing before, you're starting that up. And really what this meaning and spirituality, I have notes down here that I'm looking to kind of go, bounce back and forth off as I talk. Um, you really need to concentrate your energy on focusing on this spiritual part of yourself and making sure that you're doing what is meant for you energetically and what is meant for you to come into this sort of spiritual self. And if you really focus on that, it goes back to this is about you, Things are good things are coming your way, but you got to have willpower, you got to concentrate on it. If you concentrate on bringing that energy and that development to your spiritual self into your life, this really could benefit your spiritual self. You could meet your spirit guides, you could open your third eye, things like that. Really big spiritual movements that could be starting because you're being more open and willing to receive those sort of things in your life. Next we have finance. And with this one, it's kind of a little bit different. With finance, with finance you, kind of, you kind of know that big things are coming your way financially and you're very self-assured in it, but you kind of have to check yourself and, you know, still make sure you're working hard and having that ability. But you may be starting a new business venture that is becoming very successful for you, or you may have invested money in the stock market for the first time. All of this has to do with some sort of new thing coming into your life that you are working for. And as long as you work hard for it, you will be able to manifest your outcome that you want with that that's the main message of um, the magician overall so then we move into health and health maybe you've been feeling a little bit sick lately maybe you've been a little ill maybe your allergies have been acting up and that's finally you know dying back down whatever or maybe you have been having some issues that typical medicine isn't helping so you decide to try acupuncture or you decide to try a hot rocks massage if you're having a lot of back pain or essential oils for headaches or whatever. Maybe you're deciding to try something new that's not a traditional sort of medicine, but it's coming from someone that you know that's a powerful healer. That's one of the main things with health is whenever you're trying something that's non-traditional, that's new, make sure that you're getting the information from someone who's a very powerful healer and has that kind of energy already within themselves and has kind of examined that throughout their lives. There's a fruit fly in my house and it keeps going in front of my face. Um, and finally reverse. So if the card comes out upside down from your deck whenever you pull it, not everyone reads reversals. I do. So I always give you guys the reverse meaning too. And there are reverse meanings for all of the things that I mentioned above. That's the upright meanings. Reversed, you know, follows the same line um, as what the reversal meaning is, just kind of applying to those different situations. Um, but in reversal, you kind of need to be careful not to miss the opportunities that are coming your way. You may have been having a lot of self-doubt that's been weighing on you and kind of stopping you from taking those chances to bring in this magician energy that you could be having in your life. So you really need to make sure that you are being open to new opportunities and letting those things in so that you can manifest that energy. But that is all that I have for you guys on the Magician card. So come back Thursday and you'll have card number two, technically the third card of tarot up for you guys. And I also will have my blog post down below. And I started selling um, crystals and opened my tarot readings on my Etsy shop. So that will also be linked in the description down below. Have a wonderful, fantastic Tuesday and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.